from the Tantara mine in the Katanga, a uh, matrix of pretty much solid uh, Shatukat and uh, uh, Girthite intermixed. Now, lovely cross sections, you can see the sprays of needles, dusting of Krasakala over the top, a sort of a lighter material. Really, this one is really, really difficult to, to, to photograph, even in the still pictures I really experience problems here. Uh, so I've tried it a few times, eventually I gave up. Um, I think uh, looking from a distance, uh, this is now just from a perspective point of view, this is perhaps a more accurate view of the specimen. Rather dark, lovely form, that was the reason for my selection, these lovely botroids, and then some exposed cross sections where you have the different shades of the, the darker blue to the lighter blue, and of course dusted with almost a uh, a crust of, of a powdery chrysocala. Um So from a display point of view, I'd have it standing on the stand like this, although it would stand flat like that or like that. Have it going around like this. So all the way around, quite an aesthetic view. Dark, intense shadow cut running right through the specimen. I, I wouldn't trim up a specimen, but this is the kind of uh, chateau cut one you could use for cabochoning, for instance, the, the, the rough section. So if you extract just the crystalline section here, you've got a whole solid section here to work with. All the way from the Tantara mine in the Katanga, chateau cut, girthite, and uh, chateau cut and girthite and chrysocolor.